All right, y'all. Uh, this is going to be concluding day one of boiler demo. Uh, as you can see, got a lot of stuff ripped out of there. Uh, I'll sit down here. Gas valves, control board, electrical panel. But the big victory is that B vent. I think there was some wasted heat with this. Yeah. yeah you don't need a 12 inch B vent for nothing. But uh, we got that thing out of my face now, and now I can really come in here tomorrow, start rocking and rolling, getting some of this pipe out of here. And that's going to be great. Now what do you, how do you like the pit here, y'all? Woohoo! Nasty, nasty. Punctified, as some, as my good buddy Fritz would say. That's punctified. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll see if it gets his seal of approval. I don't think that's that word is trademarked. But uh, yeah, we're gonna replace these little these grates with some plastic ones or something. Some yeah, thick plastic ones. Ooh. All right, guys. Well, it's been fun for today. All right, guys. Uh, we're gonna call this uh, the end of day three demo. Day two wasn't too exciting. I was kind of busy with other stuff. I just got a couple things done, but uh, you can see it's starting to look a little more open in here. I got a little, a little left to do there. Uh, but big victory today was that big badass steam manifold that was up there. That thing was uh, heavy. Interesting to take down by myself. But that's all right. Um, I stopped here because uh, starting right there um, is uh, asbestos installation. So I want to be real careful, you know, not to serve it too much. Just to kind of take it down cleanly and make sure I'm wearing my dust mask, of course. Uh, the same with these little horn sections, the boiler water. Those are all asbestos pieces. The majority of it is the yellow uh, fiberglass, which is nasty but won't kill you, and asbestos will. <laughs> so we'll uh, be careful with that and clean up the majority of the floor. Uh, yeah. The pile keeps getting bigger every day. That's fun. That was fun. All right, guys. Catch you later. Hey, guys. Uh, well, it's uh, morning of day five. This is what we got done at the end of day four. You can see it's get, looking pretty naked in here now. Got all the casing off the boiler, all the insulation out, all the burners out of the bottom, uh, all the pipes on the outside, of course. Um, we got these big bad unions disconnected here. Uh, all the tanks disconnected. They're ready to just fall over and the pipes come out. It's got that exchanger crack loose. I uh, saw it, you know, and fed the pipe back there. Uh, our new exchanger is going to be over there. Got to take that exchanger out still. And got to somehow get this beast out of here yet. But other than that, looking about then, we got a little plumbing thing up over here. But, uh, yeah, not too bad. And we'll end it with the scrap. Uh, I suppose yesterday was day four or five. Uh, Notice there's no boiler here anymore. No piping anymore. And we went over to Harbor Freight and bought ourselves this two ton hoist. Pretty nice. Victories for yesterday was getting that heat exchanger now. Heavy. Imagine that was hanging right up there. So we uh, roped it over the gas main there and eased it down. Um, and today we cracked these big unions loose already. Um, but today we gotta get these tanks out of here. And then we're gonna 
Uh, before we do anything, we're probably going to clean that ball sensation and stuff out. So, we've got our scrap pile. We here every day. This was at worst of the boilers. Heavy duty. All right, well, uh, so we'll be done today, and uh, next week we'll be starting on the new install. So, okay, guys, um, it's finally all over with. Nothing left in here. Nothing, nothing. Um, let's see, last video, I think these expansion tanks and uh, uh, slush tanks are still in here. Uh, those are gone. Um, the hot water heat exchanger and loop we cut out over here, gone. Got myself a nice piece of copper hanging here. I gotta secure that guy. Or unsecure that guy. <laughs> Whatever. Um, so basically, um, there, was a, there was that pink skinny heat exchanger right here. Um, right here actually, this was looped around. And uh, so basically we're going to, there's no heat exchanger for the VAV loop anymore. We're just going to be running hot water directly into it. So we're gonna take this, undo that union, probably replace that union, uh, flip it over, solder an elbow on there, done deal. Uh, we also got our hot water recirculating pump. I didn't show you that before, but the idiots who put it in, uh, replaced it. Uh, guys who did the job, Originally, we're well-qualified uh, pipe fitters, and anyone who came in to do repairs was a bunch of cheap, low-bid hacks. So uh, they had this from copper to galvanized and black iron. A galvanized coupler right here. Black iron is all rusty. You put iron unions and shit. And same thing over here. Um, anyways, long story short, uh, we the pump was toast. So we had to took it down. We had to take it down anyhow. Um, so we got that down. Got the heat other heat exchanger down. Got these tanks out of here. Um, gas main was coming down here. Right into the old boiler. So we unthreaded that piece. Um, we saved our little gas valve and stuff. And our regulator. Because we can probably use that. And... Um, Yeah, and then we traced all of our wiring. Um, this is the three-phase power to the pump, which is fed from, uh, you see the power goes, it's coming from uh, over here, uh, from this panel, there's a hot water pump here, goes up, over here, over here, back to here, down, um, it goes underground. Shit, where does that happen actually? Um, I have to think about this for a minute. We had it all figured out uh, a while ago. Um, but anyways, so here's the disconnect. There's the power coming in the top. Power coming out of the bottom. Um, Power came from over there in the electric room. And it was uh, at first we had thought that uh, it was switched in this panel here, which was mounted over here, which was fed by a piece of conduit coming out of here. But that's actually not true. It was uh, I think we labeled it two boiler starter. Okay. So from here, the power goes into this. Um, it says boiler here, and over in the electric room, it says boiler feed pump. All right. So went from here. Down to there, through there, up through there, 
And down, those wires looped around there, those went down into the panel. Um, so there you have it. Um, Now you can go to the splice box over here, trace some wires in through there. Uh, a little little scary, but <laughs> did it. No, uh, uh, anyways, the new boiler is going to sit on this pad actually. It's a lot smaller, obviously. It's a hot water boiler. So we're going we're gonna to cut the pipe right there, break the gas main down. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really, that's about it. Um, and then we're going to put in, I don't know if they're going to extend it over or what, but we had the steam heat exchanger for the water source heat pump loop. That's the VAV loop. This is for the surgery center. Um, they're on their chiller. And this is for our water source heat pumps. This is our condenser water. So we need an exchanger either right here or over there or something. Uh, so we're going to pump hot water directly into the VAV loop at about 140. And then we're going to pump it into an exchanger. Uh, until the condenser loop reaches about 60, 65. It doesn't have to be that hot um, for the for the heat pumps to work uh, in the winter. And it's going to be looking at one of these two uh, thermostats here. Um, and then that's going to uh, there's going to have to be a solenoid valve or something, obviously, that'll close off the the water source heat pump loop uh, because it will it will get hot. It will get uh, warm warm enough fairly quickly and uh, where the VAV loop will need uh, pretty much constant hot water. So the research pump is going to go right back in here. Uh, it'll be all cleaned up, 90 degree angles and stuff. Um, and the next project in here, uh, this panel is going to go away and all of this we're going to put in a new control panel that's going to do everything. Uh, it'll have all the all contactors and everything. Um, and then the next thing is going to be uh, pulling this pump out and uh, rebuilding it because it's uh, on its way out. Bearings are going. So, um, yeah, this one running for now. I normally we alternate them every month, but this one's been doing double duty for a while now, so yeah, get that good soon. Going to clean up all this plumbing over here. Take the water softener out. Um, yeah, it's going to be great. Uh, I'll show you some more videos when we're getting stuff put, put back together. See ya.